Good evening. No, not afternoon, later today than usual. Um, welcome to my daily chat. Um, this is episode number 521, and the topic today is relationships are like trees. I should add on to that, branches and roots come into play. I may update the title. Before I jump into that and explain, let me first introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. How can I help strong, successful women find balance and peace in their life, love, and business? Um, I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and every day for the last almost two years now, I do a talk called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart on Facebook Live first, then onto YouTube, then on my podcast. I'll give those links at the end. So today's topic, or today's episode is number 521, and again, the title is Relationships are Like Trees, <coughs> Excuse me, um, which includes branches and roots. And first, I'll do a little reminder, a rewind to yesterday, a recap. I talked about how in the coaching arena, or you see the work I do with relationships, there's the coaches that are, coaches are more branches and counselors are more roots and I'm more both. So just to recap for that, for just an update. Um, and that was a bit of a distracted one because I was out in the street watching all these people go by. So I was getting really pulled away from my broadcast, which was not a smart move. Challenge me at being a man, masculine. It's like squirrel, distraction. So <laughs> this is done in the privacy of my room, the hotel where I'm staying for another couple of days for my friend's event. And so today's, um, sorry, recapping yesterday briefly, I talked about how generally coaches are more focused on the external, on getting where you want to go, which is the branches and the tree. So everything looks good, fits together, and it's fine. Counselors usually work on the roots, which is where a lot of the issues are, the hidden agendas, the past history that gets in the way of finding, finding true love and all the different patterns. And so I talked about how really the work I do is kind of a blend of both, helping you resolve the past, having a clear vision of the future, having both in a way that is holistic, aligned and integrated. So today's version, <laughs> today's theme, <clears throat> using trees as the same analogy, is about relationships. Me, relationships are like trees because some of you out there are only interested in how good the leaves look. You're only interested in how things look on the outside. I was talking to a friend of mine at lunch today about how relationships often you can't really compare because some relationships, for example, look perfect on the outside. Lots of money, jewelry, nice cars, great house, everyone dresses fine, looks happy, smiles, tanned, everything else. But behind the scenes, there's a lot of arguing and abuse and upset feelings and all that sort of crap. So you don't necessarily can compare the outside to the inside. So a relationship that's based on the leaves alone, the tree, the branches, may not be satisfactory. On the flip side, back to the roots again, a lot of relationships are founded on roots. And I recommend this actually as an approach to a relationship. If you want a relationship that's going to go the distance, ideally the rest of your life, it's good to find partnership that's based on a complementary root structure, using that analogy to the extreme, which is finding the place where you have commonality that's, gl that's grounded in, in um, equality, I use that term. Because the thing is that for most people in these relationships, you don't know if your partner has the same um, emotional touch points or reactivity to things. So one thing you're fine with, they may go, I can't handle that, and they get reactive and they run away. If you do the root work, you do the deep work, you find partnership where you're aligned on values and emotional, and also EQ, emotional, emotional um, quotient, so that you know, and emotional intelligence, so that you know you can trust each other and you can build a real firm foundation that's really healthy. And if you want a healthy relationship that does look good in the branches, you've got to start in the roots, using that analogy, maybe too much. But so you get at my point, and so the reality is you want to build, a, I mean, if you know how trees grow, basically it's the root structure that defines the power of the tree in terms of how strong the trunk is, how strong the branches are, how big it grows, based on the roots. You don't have good roots, the tree won't grow that big, and it will fall over easily. Uh, just look at the elm trees. The elm trees have a very shallow root structure. In strong winds, they get blown over. Whereas oak trees have incredibly strong roots and strong trees, and they grow really strong. So if you want a relationship like an oak tree, do the work at the roots. Now... I got to plug my work because this is all my daily broadcast. And my reminder to you is that if you want to do the right work for a healthy relationship and do the root work first before you get into a relationship, get to know yourself and really get to know your emotional content and your emotional intelligence. It's important to do the work wherever you're ready before you get into a relationship. So that when you get to a relationship, you're already prepared, you're already clear what you're looking for, and you find a partner that already matches where you want to go. That's why I do the work I do. I'm passionate about my clients having what they want because I want them to be whole and healthy in their choices of relationship. So in my work, in my calling, I'm very clear that doing the work at the root level is where it starts. 
That's where the action is. That's where the truth is, because really that's where the value is. Because once you do that, your root, it's like your root structure is clean, it's clear, it's stronger, it's healthier. It's actually more um, solid, which means when you get into a relationship, you're way more aligned to your values. And you won't just choose any relationship, you'll choose the one that matches you. And this is the big thing. A lot of people choose relationships out of convenience. Not my highest recommendation. If you want a healthy relationship, do the inner work so that you stand true in yourself, you love yourself and you appreciate who you are as a single person. So when you choose a relationship, it must, it must be additive to who you are, not replace something you think is missing and not something that will take away from who you are. Once you know that for yourself, you won't settle for anything less than you deserve. And if you work with me, you know that's what I stand for, is that you absolutely get what you deserve and you, you stand up for it and you actually raise your standards to what you truly are worthy of. That's the key. So I'm gonna put a couple of links in the comments as reminders to you. One is about selling with self-love as always. I keep recommending this, I keep telling you to do this. If you want a healthy relationship, it starts by loving yourself. Do the work first on your inside and then you can move forward to get where you wanna go on the outside. So the self-love practice I recommend, I'll give you that link again in the comments, which is, um, and my website is my name, Barry Selby. You can check out all my stuff on my site. Um, so that, that link is barryselby.com forward slash self-love. I'll put the link in the comments so you can get to that later on. Secondly, if you are looking, if you want to get help or you want clarity, you want to understand how you can have a better relationship than you had in the past, sign up for a discovery session, reach out to me, fill out the form on my website, which is barryselby.com forward slash chat, easy to find, and just sign up for the form. If you, and you, don't have to, you don't have to answer all the questions on there because some of them may not be relevant to you, but sign up, get a 30 minute conversation with me and I get you where you want to go. That's my passion, my service, my gift to you. Um, this is another brief forecast because we're in the middle of breaking down the room. These are very short during this weekend. I've been very busy in this, this um, authentic leadership course and it's teaching me a lot of things and I'm giving a lot of value to it, but um, we're actually doing room changes tonight, so I've got to go back and help break down, which is why it's later because we, anyway, don't need to tell you all that stuff. Bottom line is, this is my daily Facebook Live. You can catch me every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually later today because we have breakdown and probably later tomorrow and Tuesday because of what I'm doing there. And um, yeah, reach out for support, that's what I want to say. And by the way, the replays for this are on my business page on Facebook. So Barry Selby, the author on Facebook is where you can find my business, my business page, which has all my replays on it. On YouTube channel, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to Barry Selby as the channel and Messages for the Masculine as the playlist, subscribe there. And also you can subscribe to my podcast, which is Messages for the Masculine, and you can download them there. Um, I think that's covered everything. It's a bit of a rush, I know, but I'll put the comments later on. In the, in, I'll put the links in the comments afterwards. You can check them out for my services and for my self-love practice. And consider what I said. What is your attraction for relationship? Is it on the is it on the, the leaves and the branches or is it on the roots? Because frankly, if you start at the roots, you'll have a much healthier relationship. And again, well, thank you for watching as always. I will see you again tomorrow. Maybe around the same time, we'll see. But I appreciate being here. Take care of yourselves and uh, get more self-love in your life. It's a good place to start. It's like fertilizer for your roots. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.